and welcome back to another enchanting episode of Subnautical. Sorry. Um. <laughs> fucking nuts! It's really late. It's so late. I'm just. It's so. T I'm so tired right now. But I can't stop playing. It's so good. <clears throat> I also need to clear my throat. Because I can't talk from things. So many of these little airbag things around, isn't there? So, I saw in the last episode, uh, huge ex of oxygen remaining. Oh, shut up! Um, huge explosion from the Aurora, so probably gonna have to go and deal with that radiation at some point. Um, I need food, I need water quite badly as well, and you know, Base be, go base be going on, I believe is what the kids say. I believe. So, you know, today I'm, I want to do kind of like some more exploration. Maybe see what's about. Maybe, you know, finish the base, hopefully. Or at least get somewhere I can live. Um, <coughs> I need to build a fragment analyzer. And, you know, clearly things like the Seamoth and stuff. But I'm going to concentrate on getting hopefully basic things together and you know I, I think I'm gonna leave the collecty musicy nonsense in if, if you follow so yeah I'm building tanks because the one thing I realized is every literally it was like every two seconds you have 10 seconds of air left thank you thank you I have so how many seam moth pieces do you actually need to make a seam moth? I know you need the fragment analyzer, but how many do you have to put in there, or is it just a thing? Just put in more in, make it go quicker. These are things we shall find out at some point during the day. Well, for me, the evening. It's literally about one o'clock. So, as you see, I built the roundy tappy. Um, should I call this thing flaccid? Anyway, I thought build a hatch, get this thing doing what? Make the, but I got the stuff, didn't I? Oh come on! Do I need glass or more titanium? I don't. <coughs> I feel like I should be. Am I that tired? Hello. I just really like holding these things. They're so squidgy in my hands. They're so squidgy. I'm going to get loads of them. They're squidgy. I don't know what to do with them. There's got to be some reason for them, surely. Other than I would imagine you could put some on rocks that are, you know, covering entrances and make them float up. But, you know. So. Um. Oh, scrap metal. I'm just, I'm just swimming around the ocean, you know. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. That, that, that just, you ever played, uh, so, ever played Sonic the Hedgehog? When you get underwater levels, and you, you, you oops, and you, you kind of bounce on the thing, not my microphone there, and you get to the air bubble because it's slowly rising up. It's like that. Did he bounce on anything, or did the bubbles just come up? Now I think the bubbles just come up naturally in you. But it's kind of like that. It's good to see that new games are taking something from old games. Like Sonic. Quartz. I've noticed in my off camerary stuff that when you want quartz, there is no quartz. When you don't need quartz, there is all of the quartz. This. This needs to be remedied. I feel. So, I'm just going to swim back to the pod now and, um, you know. Maybe have me some lunch. Actually, there's stuff I need to do. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, what can I make? Yeah, titanium. I need glass. Actually. More titanium. Do I need glass? I get so. Ooh. Magnesium. Where do you get lithium from? Can you, do you make lithium? Is it a natural? I don't know. 
<clears throat> I don't really want to go onto a wiki and look this stuff up. I want to kind of figure it out on my own for a change. I don't know what that is. It's a pipe. Does that help? Really? What? Really? Oh. What the? Okay. If you say so. I can't cure it. I can cook it though. I can definitely cook it. And we're back after a little bit of a jump cut. Sorry, again, hard disk. Ran out of space. Have too much. The problem is when you animate things, it's like it, they take up quite a lot of space. Then you forget to delete the stuff you've already done, which is annoying as dicks. Because dicks are annoying. Apparently. Yeah. We should know, right, fellas? Hey! <laughs> oh, why? Oh, God. Isn't it weird that this is in the Middle East Ocean world that there's just this one little thing sticking out like, Hello! I am Coral, person has of the things. But hey, check out this cool fish. It's like, I am... I am Aqua Arrow. They should call it an Aqua Arrow. Ooh, look at you. I'm gonna eat what? What? Did I just die? Really? Okay. Was I not paying attention to things? Again. Well, that was weird. You get sort of... I think it's because you get kind of really caught up in just kind of, you know, the scenery and what you're doing sometimes. It's a computer thing just to say, hey, do this. You, you kind of end up going, oh, okay. I was supposed to do stuff of the stuff then, wasn't I? Yay. Can I do things with you? Okay, you're a coral thing. Uh, do, you, do you do stuff with coral? Is that a thing? I need to find these things out. I really, really do. Um, There's like loads of stuff I don't know yet that I've just say I've watched other people play. I haven't really tried to take too much attention into the details of it because I think if I'm going to play this, I kind of want to figure a lot of stuff out now. But I just like looking at it. It's all of the pretty. What was that? What? What the hell? What? Oh, it's a. It's a manatee. It's a manatee with a yellow ass, apparently. Hello, manatee. Are you angry? Wait, do those things... I'm going to dig myself a hole. You cannot attack me in my hole, manatee. <coughs> oh, can you take those? Oh, okay. Do we have to... I don't know, shoot them or cut them or something. I'll sort it out later. Can't be that useful, right? Ooh, hello. Did I get it? I got it. What? Oh, oh it's a thingamabob. I should cut name you thingamabob. Acid mushrooms, salt. I think a lot of this game is just basically collecting raw material before doing cool things like building stuff. But, you know, the same could be said for Minecraft, and I think that's what's really great about it, because you're, uh, you know, you're doing something therapeutic. You, you're tuning in with your inner hunter-gatherer in order to live a life of survival and love and, and willingness to party. Jesus Christ, I'm tired. So, it's getting near that, you know, because I can hear the music. I'm getting behind it. Yeah, yeah, head's rocking. Head's rocking. Shouldn't be, because now I feel a bit sick. So, but it's it's getting near that time where I think we should have a, a musical interlude. I usually like to do this around the 10 minute mark, and I think I've been playing for over that. Have I? Yeah. Anyway, 
to the musical interlude of things. Maybe. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with this great episode of Subnautica. That's right, I'm talking like this because it's now nearly 3 o'clock in the morning. Probably, no, no, it's, it's about 2. Half 1, 2? I can't even see the clock. Because it's about late o'clock, and I really, really want to wake up rabbits. She will literally throw something at me. From her room, somehow. Round the bend, because I'm in completely a different room. Well, that's enough about my personal life. <laughs> so. Um. Okay, so I, you know, collected a bunch of stuff. I'm planning on building that. Um. Make it. Th Why are there so many cars driving past this time of night? Where I live, it's like we're nearer to a train station, which isn't that bad. You don't really hear the trains that much, but you hear every car in the world, every car. So anyway, here's my plan. I need to get into the base, get the you know thingy analyzer done, get the ooh quartz, ooh a pizza quartz, ooh a piece of quartz, ooh a piece of quartz. <laughs> that's that's just what it's going to be like for me from now on. Whenever I see quartz. Apologies, and you know, because, and you know, basically every time you go in here, you're within the radiation zone, and I don't have a radiation suit yet, but I'm working on it. I am gonna get one. I want one of them. I want one of steel suit. I want a submarine. I want an airplane. I want a Ferrari. I want. I want to eat food that doesn't look like it's probably part of my anatomy. That would be. That would be pretty awesome. Really pretty awesome. So I'm going to go to my base. Hopefully finish this off. Now I have glass, I think. Yay! Base achievement! That, why isn't... Welcome aboard captive. Oh. It's like the TARDIS. It's kind of bigger on the inside. I was waiting for a phrasing... Does my test guard guy not work here anymore? Did he quit after Resident Evil? Oh, yeah, I need to... What? No, I, no, I want to build fabricating materials. Fabricator. That doesn't make clothes. I'm confused. There we go. There it is. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I mean, there it is. So, I need to go and disperse of the... The... Const constructor. Wait. Hey, come back, little constructor. Come back, little constructor. Go, oh, look at you. Look at you. You're all floaty and awesome. 
Okay, now what? <coughs> Jesus Christ me. Okay, I can build a Cyclops, which is the submarine, I believe. To be technical. Um, I can't do dick with that right now. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but, you know, I've got a base that is weirdly... It really is looks bigger on the inside. This is what she said. Whoever she is. So, yeah, I've got the thingy anal analyzer, an analyzer that I can't finish, apparently. Why not? Uh, fabric? No. Where are you? What? What? Okay. Uh, so let's sort of pick up this salt thing. I mean, other than curing food, what do you salt for? Oh yeah, magnesium. <laughs> oh, stop coughing me. I'm always ill. Then again, uh, I did get back from Snowden recently. And, you know, filming's going great. Uh, ow. I slapped myself. That's that's not fun. <laughs> it got suggested I do webcams, but no one wants to look at my face. Ever. Anyway, I got back from uh, Snowden, and I really busted my knee at the top. Um, I basically fell onto a rock thanks to... I, you know, I've kind of got a weak ankle, because... You know, stuff I will cover in something else. But, you know. Who the hell is phoning me? I uh, sorry about that whole jump cut thing. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's... It's about half... Oh, God. You know, it's about half two in the morning, and that was my mom. Um, there's something you probably don't know about me, because I've probably never said it. But... Um, well, like, my mum's disabled, uh, you know, she's in a wheelchair and I have to help her out quite a bit. She can walk a little bit, but it's quite, uh, difficult. Um, but the other thing is she also suffers from mental health problems. Uh, you know, I myself suffer from depression and a couple of other things, like say, don't massacres and die fish. Um, <coughs> sorry, but no, so seriously, she also suffers from, um, bipolar, so... You know, some, sometimes she can't sleep, so she'll she'll call me up and she'll, you know, no matter what time of the morning or day, she'll, you know, give us a call and say, hey, I'm not, you know, I think this is happening, I'm worried about this, I'm anxious about that. And you know, sometimes I have to go over and look after her, and you know, which I don't mind doing at all, because it's your mum, you got to look after your mum, she, she raised you. I know mine raised me, I think. I could be adopted to a rich family. Um, that would be awesome. I'm only kidding. But seriously, you know, she's your mum. you got to do this stuff for your mum. And, you know, you know, my dad was a complete jackass. So I had to kind of, like, do some stuff to, you know, make sure things were okay. So, you know, I'm sure eventually I'll probably go into massive detail. I don't want to give too much away because, you know, it's a, it's a big thing. And, you know, it's weird that uh, it's, I find it a lot easier talking about any of this stuff playing a game like this. But, no, no, I'm, it's, uh, so sometimes I'll, you know, I'll get that at, at, you know, early hours in the morning, she'll phone up, she'll be worried, and I'll have to go and, you know, do something about it, or just, just talk to her, sometimes she's at all, all she wants is someone to talk to, because she feels a bit lonely, and I feel a bit bad about not being there, but, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta grow up at some point, leave the house, Re regardless of the internet, leave the house. <clears throat> I don't want to leave the house, I have internet. Yeah. But, you know, anyway, um, I might actually do a video on that whole discussion about what that was like at some point, but, you know, I don't think, you know, I don't think I have enough people to tell, but, yeah, that's just like one thing, and, you know, I feel, you know, it's I'm pretty comfortable opening up a little bit, and we'll see what happens, and, you know, I, I say, you know, this, in my Q&A video, which I still haven't uploaded yet, I, um, you know, I do touch on that a little bit but you know it's just something I have to deal with and you know oh yeah while I was away 
I was recording because I actually forgot to start the recording. I built a room. A room. I have my own room. Speaking of leaving the house and growing up. See, here's a, here's a question, actually, aside from everything you said. Why are there no beds in this game? Oops. Why are there no beds? Having a bed in this game would be awesome to sleep through the night and maybe do stuff in the day. Like, you know, kind of in, like, Minecraft. It can't be that. If you can put a bench in it, why can't they put, like, you know, a bed in it? That would be awesome. But, um... Yeah, so... Anyway, I think I'm gonna... You know, I got... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, another jump cut. There wasn't a phone call, I think. I just... Need to take a five minute break from um, talking and playing. Although I carried on playing a little bit for a while and then thought, no, I'm, I'm ready to turn out. I found this giant tube of stuff I can dig. It's awesome. So a lot of, a lot of copper in here. And titanium. Titium. Um... So, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. But as I say, I'll probably get back onto that stuff at some point. But, you know, I feel like it's fair to, you know, share with people and talk and thing. Anyway, back to the funny. I need to get back to the funny. Um, so I found this giant hole I had to penetrate and um, search. Ah, uh, screw it. It's the worst joke ever. Um, Emergency. Yeah, yeah, ten seconds of air. Uh, and I've got hard. I've got four percent health because of that freaking radiation. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call it a day. You know, I've got quite a lot of stuff collected and done, and you know, I've got a room on my base, and you know, hopefully next time I can start maybe working towards the sea moth and the still suit, and maybe the the radiation suit. Definitely, I want to have a run at the aurora at some point as well because. That place looks cool. I heard there's like a secret entrance underwater to the uh, engine room so you don't have to, you know, parkour. And I suck at parkour, as we all know. So, okay, catch up with you next time where I'll try and be more funny. <clears throat> I may even start cutting bits out that you don't really need to see and just compiling a more useful video. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a like if you do. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I am so sorry, but please sub to me. I really need attention. Okay, love you. Bye-bye.